This is Sol Johnston and Packet Tracer Activity 11.2.2.5, Configuring Dynamic Network Address Translation. All right, so now we will go ahead and go into our R2 right here, which has an interesting setup because it's serial to serial. We'll do Enable, Configure Terminal, Access List 1, Permit, 172.16.0.0, the wildcard mask of 0.0.255.255. Then we're going to do IP NAT pool. And you can put any name in here, but we're just going to put any dash name here. Then you do 209.165.76.1.0.0.0. Two oh nine dot one sixty five dot seventy six dot one ninety nine with net met with net mask of two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty two. So if more than two devices attempt to access the internet. The devices will be denied access until one of the previous translations times out freeing up an addre address to use. So that's the, the bad thing about how this is set up. So let's go ahead and do IP NAT inside source list one pool any dash name dash here. Then we're going to interface S0 slash 0 slash 0 IP NAT outside. Oop, misspelled outside. There we go. Then we're going to do interface S0 slash 0 slash 1 and then IP NAT inside. And then we can test our our implementation by going to our web browser in L1. So it's pretty much your inside, that's your outside. So we're going to go to L1 right here. And because we made that work, it should go to our server right here, which that's the address. So we're going to do 209.165. 201.5. There we go. It says that we actually got connected. Now when we go to R2, we can click end on here and type in show IP NAT translations. And it shows our inside trans so here let me move this out of here. So it shows our inside translation and our outside local translation. And there's your whole activity. And you'll see the 100 out of 100. And everything looks correct.